Hi everyone, David Manley here with Tech Know How. And today we're gonna to do something really cool. I'm gonna show you how to get the averages or how to calculate the average of a column. And then I'm also gonna show you how to calculate the average of a column with filters, right? So if you only wanna figure it out based on filter data. So let's take a look here. I've got some space on the right where I'm gonna put some data. And I'm gonna show you in a second. I've got classes, different sessions of them, count of student, type, regular or online. There's one group that was online. And um, their are tests, grades, their, and their max of final grade, and their sum of final grade, which is so that for, this one, for instance, had 17 people in the class, and there was 987 total points at the end. Now, how do I get to what their final grade average is. So what we want to do is I've got two calculate columns over here. You're going to go click on this. And you're going to create a new column. And what you do is you click on this. And the first one is going to be average final grade. See this right here. And what we're doing is just average of student grades. In this case, that's I've got student grades is fall 2019 is the name of the table. And then final grade is the column that I'm using right here. And so I'm using the average of that. That's the first one. Now, if I bring that in here, you would just hit check and it's good. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll bring this in here to this. So let's bring in the average of final grade. There it is right there. That shows me the average. That was simple. Now, how do you do it? And here it is, the first one for the average of final grade. And you can see again, average function of the table name and the uh, field name or column name, final grade. Now we wanna switch it to this one. And I'm gonna add this one in. And this, this one's a little bit longer. And the difference is to use a filter, I have to use the calculate function. You can see right here, calculate and then averages inside that. And you've got the same here for the table name and the column name. And we have a comma afterwards putting student grades fall 2019 type right so we're going to put a type of student in this case i'm filtering by this and type is regular so i'm filtering out online right so i'm just i only want where they're regular and then i have another uh consideration here or filter of student grades are greater than 80. see that right here so these are the filters i'm adding right here student grades fall 2019 type is regular so in other words, not online, and student grades are greater than 80. So when we take this one, we bring this one out into here. We see we can either bring it here or we can bring it in here, but see what happens, there's a blank here because that row is going to be online. See that right there? Yep. So that's the online. And then what it does is it gives us the average, but only for those people that had an 80 or above. So I'm looking at people that were B or A students, and that's what they're wanting to look at. What were their grades? And maybe in this case, if I wanted to do that, maybe I'm looking to give a grade curve based on you know performance or it could be anything. Or maybe I want to select these students to uh, offer them a class for more advanced students in the fall, something like that. So anyway, that's how you use it. So you, the first one just used the average function by itself. The second one use calculate of, and then you're using the average function inside of a calculate function. And then you have the two uh, filters in there. Um, and that's how that works. So uh, you can look at either of them and see that. See. So I hope you found this helpful and informational. You can then take this and look a little deeper into it. You can look at what was the lowest final grade, what was the highest final grade, what was the count of the students class, and then you can even look at the average of the final grade by class and type. All right, so I can look at online versus regular. I can create a neat little dashboard real quick, that, but the main thing here was getting to these, the average and the calculate average with filters which is really helpful and useful, especially the second one when you're adding in uh, different constraints or filters for what you want to be looking at. Maybe you're looking at financial information and you only want to look for certain years. Maybe you're looking for certain periods of the year. Maybe you're looking for certain buyers, certain uh, whatever it is. It could be any type of data. And you're, in this case, I used and filtered by 
type of student, regular or online, and then their grades. And when I did their grades, I did it by their midterm test score. So if I look at their midterm test, uh, that's what I did. I used the midterm test, not the sum of it, but I used individual midterm tests and said it had to be greater than 80. So maybe these guys were going to be invited back for a special class or something. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, to subscribe like, and share, and have a great day. Thank you.